I don't know if you have thoughts about this, but what are the things that worry you the most about uh, from the great perspective of the universe, which is the great filters that destroys intelligent civilizations, but for our own species here, uh, like what are the things that worry you the most? Yeah, the thing that worries me the most is that people pay attention to how many likes they have on Twitter. And uh, rather than, you know, basketball coaches tell the team players, keep your eyes on the ball, not on the audience. The problem is we keep our eyes on the audience most of the time. Yes. Let's keep our eyes on the ball. And what does that mean? First of all, in context of science, it means pay attention to the evidence. When the evidence looks strange, then we should figure it out. You know, I went to a, a seminar about Oumuamua at Harvard and uh, a colleague of mine that is uh, mainstream, mm -hmm. conservative, would never say anything that would deviate from what everyone else is thinking. Mm -hmm. Said to me after the seminar, I wish this object never existed. <laughs> now, to me, I mean, I just couldn't hear that. It, what do you mean? Nature is whatever it is. You have to pay attention to it. You, you cannot say, I w you know, you cannot bury your head in this. I mean, you should bless nature for giving you clues about things that you haven't expected. Yes. And I think that's the biggest fault that we are looking for confirmations of things we already know so that we can maintain our pride that we already knew it and maintain our image, not make mistakes because we already knew it, therefore we expected the right thing. Yes. But science is a learning experience and sometimes you're wrong and let's learn from those mistakes. And what's the problem about that? Why is Why do we have to get you know, prizes and why do we get to be honored and maintain our image when the actual objective of science is learning about nature. Mm -hmm. And like you, you've uh, talked about anomalies in this case are actually are not things that are unfortunate and to be ignored are in fact gifts and should be the focus of science. Exactly, because that's the way for us to improve our understanding. If you look at quantum mechanics, nobody dreamed about it and it was revolutionary and we still don't fully understand it. It's a pain for us to figure out. So wh why do you, th so I understand from the science, from the perspective of that's holding our science back, uh, why do you have a sense that that's also something that might be uh, a problem for us in terms of the survival of human civilization? Because when you look at society, it operates by the same principles. Uh, uh, there is, uh, uh, people look for affirmation by right. groups and they, uh, you know, people segregate into herds that think like them, especially these days when social media is so strong, you can find your support group. Yes. And you, if you don't look for evidence for what you're saying, you can say crazy things. As long as there are enough people supporting what you say, you can even have your newspapers, yes. you can have everything to support your view. And then you know, bad things will happen to society. Because we're detaching ourselves from reality. Yeah. And uh, if we detach ourselves from reality, all the destructive things that naturally can occur in the real world, whether from nuclear weapons, all the kinds of threats that we're facing, uh, even we're living through a pandemic. The, uh, suppose, you know, a much, much worse pandemic could happen. Right. And then we could, sadly, like we did this one, politicize it in some kind of way and have bickering in the space of, Twitter and politics as opposed to there's an actual thing that can destroy the human species. Exactly, so the only way for us to maintain, to, to stay modest yes. and learn about what really happens is by looking for evidence. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's not about ourself, you know? It's about figuring out what's around us. And if you close yourself by surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded, that refuse to look at the evidence, you can do bad things. Uh, and throughout human history, that's the origin of all the bad things that happen. Yes. And I think it's a key. It's a key to be modest and to look at evidence. And it's not a nuance. Now, you might say, oh, okay, the uneducated person might operate. No, it's the scientific community operates this way. My problem is not with people that don't have an academic pedigree. It's included everywhere in society.